in this video we are following these steps first open any browser like google chrome and search flutter sdk click on the official website docs.flutter.dev now choose your operating system then click the desktop icon scroll down here you will see the latest stable version click to download the zip file once it's done extract the file now rename the extracted folder to flutter and place it anywhere i am keeping it in my e drive inside the extracted folder go to the flutter bin folder and copy its path go to the start menu search for environment variables and open it click on environment variables under system variables select path click edit then new and paste the copied path click okay 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 to save so the path is set into the environment variables now open command prompt and navigate to your flutter folder run this command flutter that means flutter is dk is set up correctly here we see the flutter doctor this flutter doctor will show you which options or requirements your system satisfying or which requirements are not available on your system so type flutter doctor and hit the enter button now flutter doctor may show some issues let's fix them one by one the first issue says android studio is not installed click on the provided link to open the android studio download page click this download button scroll down and click download for windows once downloaded open the .exe file to start the installation follow along i have shown the entire process in this video After installation run flutter doctor again now one issue is fixed and it shows the installed android studio version now we see another issue android toolchain not found even though android studio is installed flutter still cannot find the sdk now step by step fix it open android studio and this is the path through which we will connect flutter with android studio here i have shown the entire process so you can follow along easily from here click on the accept option and click on the next button to start 
in downloading the components. This might take a while. After completing downloading components, now you are ready to connect Flutter with Android Studio. Click more actions and select SDK manager from the drop down. Under SDK platforms, download at least one version Android 14 or 13. Now go to SDK tools and make sure these are selected before clicking apply. Click apply and Android Studio will install all components. At the top of SDK manager, copy your Android SDK location. Run this command to tell Flutter uh, where your SDK is. Then run Flutter Doctor again to confirm it's fixed. Next, if you see the warning, some Android licenses not accepted. Run this command. Press Y as yes to accept each license. Then run the Flutter Doctor again to confirm the warning is gone. Now you might see Visual Studio not installed. Remember VS Code and Visual Studio are not the same. Click the link shown by Flutter Doctor. Download Visual Studio Community Edition. Run the .exe file to launch the installer. This might take a while. Scroll down and select desktop development with C++ workload. Then click install. Once done, open Chrome and prompt and run Flutter Doctor. Now everything should be green. We can set up Flutter in another way without installing a Visual Studio. For this, first we need to open the VS Code. Then go to the extension panel from the left sidebar. Now search for Flutter. Click install and wait for it to complete. Next search for Dart and install this extension. Alright, now let's create a project. Open terminal and run Flutter create your app name. Then open it in VS Code. Click on the lib folder. Inside it you will find a file named main.dart. This is the heart of your Flutter app. Here you can edit it the way you like to create your app. Now run this command. You will see a list of connected devices. To run on Windows use this command.
also to run on Chrome or Edge, refresh Windows with the browser name in this command. I have included all these commands in the description below. And boom, your first Flutter app is running. Click the button and it increments the counter. 